All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever-glorious book, Allah wants ease for you, not hardship. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger, who said, I have been sent with the tolerant, pure religion. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came with a universal message that made tolerance and easiness a way of life. There is no hardship in the provisions of this religion. The Almighty Allah says, He has chosen you and placed no hardship in you in religion. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The religion of Islam is easy, and whoever makes the religion a rigor, it will it will overpower him so follow a middle course in worship if you can do this do something near to it and give glad tidings and seek help of Allah at morn and at dusk and at some parts of night thus tolerance in Islam is not just a spoken word or slogan rather it is a part of Muslims belief and should be a way of life it is a principle that Allah the Almighty commanded his servants to embody in their dealings and a reason to get the pleasure of Allah. The Almighty Allah says, let them pardon and forgive. Do you not wish that Allah should forgive you? However, what we seek is to make tolerance a daily life practice because Islam's call for tolerance is a call for practical application in various occasions in the Quran, the Almighty Allah calls upon servants to pardon each other and to be tolerant. Allah says, Good and evil cannot be equal, O Prophet. Repel evil with what's better, and your enemy will become as close as an old and valued friend. The Prophet, peace be upon him, applied tolerance in his dealings with people. He was the best example uh, for his nation and for all humanity. He said, I have been sent as mercy. Aisha said, Whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, was given an option between two things, he used to select the easier of the two. As long as it was not sinful, but if it was sinful, he would remain far from it. We should openly ask ourselves, do we apply this practice in our daily life? Do we make it an approach for interacting with each other? Tolerance is a noble behavior that should be applied by the Muslim in all aspects of life. These aspects include tolerance between the two spouses. Marital relationship is a unique relationship. It is a great gift from Allah who showed us that it should be based on affection, mercy, and good relationship. The Almighty Allah says, Another of his signs is that he created the spouses from among yourselves, for you to live with in tranquility. He ordained love and kindness between you. He, glory be to him, also says, Live with them in accordance with what's fair and kind. If you dislike them, it may, it may well be that you dislike something in which Allah has put much good. Allah also says, Wives have rights similar to their obligations according to what's recognized to be fair. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The best of you is the one who is best to his wife, and I am the best of you to my wives. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to encourage men to deal well with their wives. For example, he said, A believer must not hate his wife. If he dislikes one, of her characteristics, he will be pleased with another. Moreover, before his death, the Prophet said, treat women nicely. Thus, tolerance should be a mutual behavior between the two spouses and a human law that organizes life. What beautiful words that Abu Darda said to his wife that when you find me angry, try to please me, and when I find you angry, I'll try to please you. This is a mutual relationship based on justice and forgiveness. Tolerance with neighbors. The Almighty Allah says, Worship Allah, join nothing with Him, be good to your parents, 
to relatives, to orphans, to the needy, to neighbors near and far. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Jibril, Jibril kept recommending me treating neighbors with kindness until I thought he would assign a share of inheritance to neighbors. Another hadith tells us that he who believes in Allah and the last day should treat his neighbor with kindness. In another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. It was asked, Who is that, O Messenger of Allah? He said, One whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. Also, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The best of companions in the sight of Allah is the one who is best to his companions, and the best of neighbors in the sight of Allah is the one who is best to his neighbors. Moreover, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He is not a believer whose neighbor spends the night in hunger. In addition, tolerance should prevail among colleagues at work, universities, schools, and so on. The glorious Quran stipulates rules to strengthen the relationship between all people. As the Almighty Allah says, O oh humanity, indeed we created you from male and female, and made you into people and tribes, so that you may know one another. Surely the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous among you. Allah is truly all-knowing, all-aware. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best of people, with all people and with his companions. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to deal with his companions and all people in the best manners. He used to treat them well, visitations, care for them, give charity to the poor, pay back the debts on behalf of debtors, and forgive people. The Almighty Allah said, by an act of mercy from Allah, you Prophet were gentle in your dealings with them. Had you been harsh or hard-hearted, they would have dispersed and left you. So pardon them and ask forgiveness for them. Consult them about matters. As for showing tolerance in roads and transportation, a man is liable to be hurt from others, especially if we take into account the fact that there are some people who might be harsh and intolerant. So how wonderful it is to meet people's harm with tolerance. In this regard, Allah Most High says, and the servants of the Most Merciful are those who walk upon earth easily. And when the ignorant address them harshly, they say words of peace. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, You will not enter paradise until you believe, and you will not believe until you love one another. Should I not guide you to something doing which you will love one another? Spread out salutation among you. It is also important to abide by the regulations of roads and transportation, including dealing kindly with the elderly and women and seriously considering people's feelings. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, kindness is not to be found in anything, but it adds to its beauty, and it's not withdrawn from anything, but it makes it defective. Tolerance may also be relating to money. In truth, spending money in the cause of Allah is a proof on one's true belief in Allah and His Messenger. In addition, it is a clear indication that this man is upright. Spending money is a characteristic of the believers and a means to bring hearts together. It is furthermore a means to reach righteousness. Allah the Almighty says, never will you attain the good reward until you spend in the way of Allah from that which you love. Man, man should also show tolerance at times of selling, buying, and repayment of debts. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, May Allah show mercy to a man who adopts a kind attitude when he sells, buys, and demands for repayment of loans. In truth, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to urge his people to be tolerant and lenient and to be true models of human fraternity. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who gives respite to someone who is 
in straightened circumstances or grants him remission, Allah will shelter him in the shade of his throne on the day of resurrection when there will be no shade except its shade. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. Muslim brothers, one of the greatest acts of tolerance is that relating to good word. In this regard, Allah Most High says, and say good to people and tell my servants to say that which is best. One should speak good with all people, irrespective of their colors, race, or beliefs. It is actually a, consult, a conclusive proof on one's good manner. It is said, good manner is an easy matter, but uh, it is but a face with a wide smile and a lenient speech. Allah Most High ordered Prophet Moses to say gentle speech with Pharaoh when he was very arrogant. Allah said, Go both of you to Pharaoh. Indeed, he has transgressed. And speak to him gentle speech that perhaps he may be reminded or fear Allah. Tolerance stands on the middle between extremism and negligence. Both are far away from the middle course of Islam that's tolerant, kind, and lenient. O oh Allah, grant us tolerance in all of our sayings, deeds, and affairs. O oh Allah, reconcile between us and protect our country and all of, our, of, and all of the world's countries.